What's up? This is Adam Quiney, and tonight I want to cover, tonight, today, tomorrow, morning, whatever, whatever time it is that you're watching this, I want to cover a distinction I like using with my clients sometimes, which is magic and dog shit. So let's talk about the magic first. Coaching produces magic, and the thing about magic is that it only looks like magic in foresight. After you've gone through the process, you can see, wow, that wasn't magic at all. And what we do as coaches is we take people's hard lines, the rules that they've created in their world that they view as concrete, and we help them see first that those rules are even there, because for the most part, the rules are here. People can't see them. They actually live their life with those rules inside their head. So we pull those rules out here so they can actually see it, and then we have them move just a little bit to the side and give them just a glimpse of the fact that actually that rule doesn't have to dictate my world. And there's a whole realm of possibility outside of this box that my rule creates. So for example, maybe people have this idea like, boy, I'd love to do this thing, but I can't, I can't, I just can't do it because of money. Money is a common place people get stopped in their lives. And so we might take a look at that and see, wow, the, you start to explore with them and find out, well, look, Adam, here's the thing. I, could, I would never take on debt because debt means X, Y, Z, A. It means that I'm lackadaisical. It means that I'm failing. It means that I am irresponsible. I mean, it means all of these things. And so we might say, well, wow. It, it, so it seems like there's this relationship to debt. Like you could just never take on debt. And then they might argue, well, there's certain places where debt's okay. Like student loan is okay and mortgage your house, but only those places. And if we can just raise them up out of this box so that they can see some other possibility, that's where the magic happens. Because suddenly, what was previously confined by the confines of this box is no longer so. That's the magic. That's the magic of coaching. The other thing is the dog shit. Dog shit reality. So this is amazing because you can look around and suddenly you see a world that's not bounded by the confines of that box. But that box is what you've learned to exist in. It's You've built a world based on these confines. Everything that's had you get here and that now holds you in place, it's also what you've learned to rely on. And so the dog shit nature of coaching is, it, it's exactly that. It's the dog shit reality. It's the fact that even after the magic, you still have to take those shitty steps. You still have to be willing to actually do the difficult action. So we might pull that person out and have them see like, holy cow, I could take on some debt, I could borrow some money, I could find a whole, there's all these ways I could create the money. But it still requires them taking action to move towards what they want. And that's going to require maybe taking on debt or maybe talking to the person that's uncomfortable or maybe facing the rejection that they don't want to face. And that's the dog shit nature of, uh, or sorry, the dog shit reality of this part. It's the part that people can get caught wanting just more magic. They're like, no, just keep my head out of the box. I just want to keep looking. And that isn't the way it works. It's not just a game of awareness. Certainly a lot of us become awareness junkies. And you see this often when people uh, read a lot of self-help books, but never work with a coach where they're like, wow, I see so much and so much action and I'm practicing so much. But they're all they're really doing is practicing inside of the confines of their box because you can't see the thing you're, you're trying to see through. And awareness feels good, but it doesn't really move us towards what we want. So coaching brings those two things together. It creates the magic by letting us see something that's possible that wasn't before. And it also has us actually take on the dog shit, the, the parts that we don't want to take on, but we got to go through to create that life that we really want. Magic and dog shit. Who knew? What a combination. Thanks a lot.